I am so excited that there is a new edition of the Crochet Foundry magazine and I'm in it. Okay, before we get into all the details of the magazine and my design, if you don't know me, I am Michelle Ferguson. I am the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. You can find me at twobrothersblankets.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Two Brothers Blankets. You can also find me here on YouTube every week for a new crochet related video. This week's video is super exciting because I've been keeping a big secret from you guys since like early fall of last year. <laughs> um, I am in the spring 2022 edition of the Crochet Foundry Magazine. Yay! And this is the design in the magazine. This is the Pompego sweater. Um, I'm going to tell you all about it, but first let me share with you about the Crochet Foundry Magazine and how I got into the magazine. So um, if you haven't heard about the Crochet Foundry magazine, it is a digital magazine for crocheters. Um, it is seasonal. They have seasonal ed uh, editions each season, fall, spring, winter, and summer, I believe, all four seasons. Um, and their main theme is crochet garment patterns that are size inclusive. So they do a wonderful job of getting beautiful, easy, um, uh, modern and trendy crochet garment patterns that go from size extra small to 5X, every single one of them in the, in the magazine. Um, they also have a wonderful, like they do a theme each edition and they do like a color palette. Um, and it's just really beautiful, so aesthetically pleasing, um, just a really nice, magazine for crocheters. Um, and so I applied to do the spring 2022 uh, edition. So, and I got in, so yay. Um, yeah, it was really exciting. So I found out that I was accepted, I think it was like in September, and I had to choose my yarn and get the pattern designed and tested and all that um, within a matter of like a couple of months. Um, I couldn't tell anybody or anything like that. Um, and then I sent in, you send in the design and they have it photographed and modeled and all this fun stuff. Um, and I just like just a few weeks ago got to see it all and like approve it and whatever if there was make sure there was no um, issues with anything and all that. And so I was so excited to uh, see it on a model and everything like that. It was really fun. Um, so the Crochet Foundry Spring 2022 magazine is available now. It, it today is. Um, release day, I guess you would call it. Um, I need to double check. I'm not sure how many patterns are in this edition, um, but it's a number of designers, different designers. Some I'm sure you will recognize and they're all spring related, um, spring themed, spring seasonal crochet garment patterns. Um, Plus, the magazine does a really, really great job of including like styling tips, um, tips for adjusting to fit um, your body specifically. They're really great about that. Uh, they offer, so I, like I created um, my design in a specific yarn, and we're going to talk about that too in a minute, um, but they also offer different like different alternatives um, alternative yarns for the design at different price points too. So like if you want to splurge, they have an, they have an option for that. And then, but if you want to save money, if you're on a budget, they have an option for that. So that's really cool. I really enjoyed that part of the magazine. Um, and they have tips and interviews and all kinds of stuff. So it's a really great magazine. It's not just crochet patterns, but it, it has those crochet patterns available and then so much more, so many more amazing things um, when it comes to crocheting and crocheting garments. So enough about the magazine. I'm going to link my affiliate link in the description so you can purchase that. It's a really great price um, and you can go grab your own copy. Now let's talk about the Pompego sweater. Um, so I had this idea for a while. I have a thing about eyelets, like the little, just little tiny 
polka dots. I love it. Like dots, open dots. They're not really polka dots because it's just open. But I have a thing about eyelets. I don't know. Um, I have my blushing eyelets tank top. That was the first time I did eyelets. And then I decided I wanted a like raglan style uh, long sleeve with eyelets down the sleeve. So that was my proposal for the magazine and they accepted it. So this sweater comes in sizes extra small to 5X. Um, it is worked from the top down um, with the sleeves added at the end. You will have to add some to the sleeves, attach and add length to your sleeves. Um, what else? I used fingering weight yarn. I used gloss fingering. And I don't have an extra skein to show you. So I'm looking at the website. It's from We Crochet, crochet.com. Um, this yarn is a 70% merino wool, 30% silk. So it's a really nice yarn. It is $7.99 a hank. Um, and you get how many yards? 220 yards per hank that you um, have to cake up. I don't know if you can see. It has lots of beautiful colors to choose from. Um, I chose this. I think the color is navy. Yes, navy. So it's just a navy blue. Um, that was one of the colors in their color palette that they um, had put together for the edition, the magazine edition. Um, so let's see. What else do I need to include? <laughs> I'm just so excited. It's top down. I said that it's raglan style. So you don't have to do any sewing except you're going to seam up your, your trim, your cuff of your sleeve at the very, very end. So you'll, you'll want to do that. You can do that with your crochet hook and do slip stitches, or you can use a needle and, and yarn and sew it too. Um, so no sewing. It has some ease to it. I believe it's like two to four inches of positive ease. I'm wearing a size large and it is a little bit large on me. Um, it, I like the fit though. I really do. I like the big, bigger sleeves. Um, but I'm typically a medium, so it's a little big. Um, it's very customizable. It's ra it's top down raglan, so you can adjust your width, you can adjust your length very easily. You can adjust your sleeve length e easily. It's actually all one count, stitch count, until the very end you'll do a decrease to give it like that, um, what's it called? Oh, now I forgot, the puffy sleeve. I don't know the name, the official name, I can't remember, but, um, and it just, the it tightens at the cuff and then you'll add a simple trim, but it has this cute picot uh, edging. So I love the Pico edging. Um, and the neckline also has that just a little bit on the neckline. And yeah, it's super lightweight. This is probably my new favorite design. It's going to be um, something that I know I'm gonna wear the minute it cools down here in Florida. Like anytime it gets a little bit cooler, I know I'm gonna be pulling this out. It's fingering weight, so it is lightweight enough that I can wear it here. And it does get kind of chilly here every now and again. We had a pretty cool winter um, this year. So it, for like where it stayed cool for more than a day or two. So that was nice. I wish I would have had it then. <laughs> I would have totally worn it. I can't wait to wear this out. It's so cute. It's so comfortable. It's lightweight. I do have a tank top underneath, like a little cami top. Um, that's a navy color too, just so that there's no issues with seeing through anything or whatever. So you probably will want to wear that. It's just a simple stitch. It's not anything super tight that um, it might. I mean, you might be able to get away without it, but I always err on the side of safety. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, that is my Pompego sweater. It's a great transitional from with cold winter to warm and sunny spring when it's chilly, but not, you know, but nicer than, you know, in the middle of winter, it's one of those that you can just wear. Or if you're hot natured, you can wear it in the middle of winter. Um, it's just one of those really nice transitional pieces. I am in love with it. I hope you do too. I wrote a blog post all about the magazine and the design that I'll link in the description. Right now, you can only get this design 
in the magazine, in the Crochet Foundry magazine. Eventually, at a later date, it will be available as an individual pattern, but right now you can only get it in the Crochet Foundry magazine. But I mean, you're getting an amazing deal because you're getting a bunch of designs, um, size inclusive crochet garment designs in the magazine for it's, I can't remember how much it is. It's, it, I think it's less than 20. Um, I probably should have looked that up <laughs> before I, before I started filming. Um, but I'll put all that information into the detail, the description of the video. Um, and I hope you'll check it out. Let me know what you think. If you like it or not, I hope you do. Um, and go check out the magazine. Let me know what other designs you're loving from the magazine. I'd love to know in the comments. And if you'd like to purchase the magazine, click the link in the description to go and get your copy. So yay, that is my Pompega sweater and my big announcement. I'll be back again next week with a new crochet related video and I hope you'll join me. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see and if you wanna be notified every time I upload a new video, please click the bell at the top of your screen. Thanks.